so we'll see this problem here so here what is in the in an experiment one chord is selected from ordinary 52 chord deck okay so event a is defined as select a king event b is defined as select a jock or queen okay event c is uh, defined as select a heart okay so here what is the probability of a so you are selecting the king if you select the king how many kings are there in 52 decade chords of deck there are four kings okay four. so probability of a will be 4 by 52 okay then what is probability of b ma probability of b is we are uh, selecting jock or queen okay so there are four jocks and four queens totally eight so there are four jocks and four queens r means what union no r is what union so there are eight by 50 yes, okay and select a heart how many heart cards are there there are totally 13 heart cards are there okay so what is probability of c will be 13 13 by 52 okay now what is that we do we find out uh, joint probability here the probability of a intersection b see what is a selecting a king what is b jock or queen so the a intersection b is no is, is null matrix so what is the probability of a intersection b will be equal to zero why is this cutting okay okay similarly see here what is a a is what uh, selecting the heart what is c sorry a is selecting the king c is uh, selecting the heart in heart uh, in heart uh, cards only one king is there yes or no in hard talks there is only one king yes, so probability of a intersection c will be equal to 1 by 52 what is b ma b is selecting jock or queen jock or queen okay and what is c hard cards there are only two jock or queen cards there is only one jock card one queen card in hard cards yes or no so there are two cards yes, totally ma so what is probability of b intersection c is 2 by 52 okay so now we check the uh, independence condition what is probability of a intersection b is equal to zero we got no here you see probability of a intersection b we got it as zero so it is not equal to probability of a into probability of b so it means that probably a and b a and b are not independent similarly probability of a intersection c is equal to 1 by 52 we got here see here it is 1 by 52 that is equal to probability of a into probability of b what is probability of a here check it 4 by 52 probability of c probability of c is 13 by 52 so 4 by 52 into 13 by 52 so if you find out we get 1 by 52 only so since it is satisfying what is the condition probability of a intersection c is equal to probability of a into probability of c so these two are independent if this condition is satisfied then we say that these two are independent okay similarly probability of a intersection c is equal to what is that we got here 2 by 52 2 by 52 here it is equal to probability of b into probability of c what is probability of b ma 8 by 52 no into probability of c is 13 by 52 8 by 52 into 13 by 52 you get 2 by 52 okay since probability of a intersection c is equal to probability of b into probability of c so b and c are also independent from this what we can see a and c b and c are independent whereas a and b a and b are not independent and what is a and b a and b are mutually exclusive okay M multiple events so when more than two events are involved till now we have discussed about considering only two events if more than two events are involved okay then what is that we have to do independence uh, not only should satisfy the independence condition by pairs okay okay 
and we have to consider the independence by triplets and uh, then we have to uh, say here we have three events a1 a2 a3 in that case when when do you say that these events are independent this event should be should satisfy independence by pairs okay that is probability of a1 intersection a2 should be equal to what probability of a1 into probability of a2 probability of a1 intersection a3 will be equal to what probability of a1 into probability of a3 probability of a2 intersection a3 will be equal to what probability of a2 into probability of a3 similarly and it has to satisfy the independence by triplets considering all the three elements okay that is probability of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 should be equal to what probability of a1 into probability of a2 into probability of a3 if these four conditions are satisfied then only we say that these three events are independent okay for three events to be independent it has to satisfy the four conditions that is this should satisfy the independence by pairs as well as the independence by triplets okay for example if you have four events uh, n events there are n events in that case this event should satisfy independence by pairs by considering pairs we have to uh, this event should satisfy the independence and this event should also satisfy the independence by considering triplets then we'll be checking the independence by using by considering four events then we will be checking the independence by considering five and so on finally we have to check the independence by considering all n events okay so that is probability of a1 intersection a2 intersection so on intersection an should be equal to what probability of a1 into probability of a2 so on into probability of an okay now for n event should satisfy the independence how many conditions it has to satisfy it has to satisfy 2 power n minus n minus 1 these many number of equations these many conditions should satisfy for those events to be independent properties of independent events okay so many properties of independence events may be summarized by the statements here so the first statement here is if n elements so we are taking n elements a1 a2 so on an are independent then any one of them is independent of any event formed by the union intersection and complement of others okay so what are the n events we have a1 a2 an all these are independent now we are taking a1 okay you are taking a1 a1 will be independent of what is that a2 union a3 you take any other events that is forming union okay so this is another event okay a1 will be again independent of the union formed by the other events and a1 will be also independent of any events formed by uh, formed by using the intersection or it is also formed by the complement okay like this okay so what is that uh, any one of the uh, one of them is independent of any event formed by the union means any uh, you take any other two events form the union or the, any other three events form the union so a1 will be again independent of this event okay and it is also independent of intersection like this it will also be inter independent of intersection and it is also independent of the complement formed by any other event like this okay this is our first property the second property says that for two independent events a1 and a2 it results that a1 is independent of a2 complement a1 complement is independent of a2 a1 complement is independent of a2 complement okay here we are taking two events a1 and a2 these two are independent okay if a1 and a2 are independent a1 is again independent of a2 complement okay and a1 complement is again independent of a2 and similarly 
A1 complement is again independent of A2 complement. Okay, this is our second property. It is not only independent of itself, it is also independent of complement of it. Okay, that, that is we have discussed here already in the first case. Okay. And third property says that for three independent events, A1, A2, A3 are independent events. Okay. Any one is independent of joint occurrence of other, other two. This we have discussed here, no? So if you are taking any one of them, that will be independent of the event which is formed by the intersection, yes or no? So here also, see here, we have two, three events, A1, A2, A3. So A1 will be independent of the event which is formed by the joint occurrence of other two. Joint occurrence means what? Intersection, A2 intersection, A3. So what is the probability of A1 intersection? A2 intersection, A3 will be equal to what? Probability of A1 into probability of A2 intersection, A3. Since A2, A3 also independent, probability of A2 intersection, A3 can be written as probability of A into A2 into probability of A3. So how do you write probability of A1 intersection, A2 intersection, A3? It can be written as probability of A1 into probability of A2 into probability of A3. This is our third property. Okay. And it is also satisfies you know not to take A1 only every time. We can take A2 intersection, A1 intersection, A3 and A3 intersection, A1 intersection, A2 also we can consider. Okay. Then we see that the fourth property. So if any one event is also independent of union of other two. So the same thing we have discussed here, no? It is also independent of union, intersection, complement, yes or no? So what is our fourth property? So if you are taking any one event, it is also independent of union formed by the other two, okay? So what is probability of A1 intersection? A2 union A3 will be equal to probability of A1 into probability of A2 union A3, okay?